I welcome you all in online lecture series. I am Dr. Ganesh Mughal, Assistant Professor, Department of Physics, KT Chum College, Nasik. Today we are going to discuss about what is uh, graphics in a C from a computational physics. So let's begin. In this lecture, we have to see what is a pixel and depending on a pixel, number of uh, pixel on a screen, the screen have a different resolution. That is a medium resolution, high resolution, very high resolution and super high resolution. In this lecture, we have to also see uh, about what is, uh, what are the different graphics function. That is a graphics.h, init graph, close graph, then graphics driver, graphics mode, BGI 5. After attending this lecture, student will be understand about what is pixel, resolution of a screen. Student will be understand about structure of a graphics program and student will be understand a different graphic function that is graphics.h, init graph, close graph, graphics driver, graphics mode and BGI. Pixel, the screen is divided into a small picture cell and the small picture cell of a screen is a known as a pixel. The pixel are addressable point in the screen. Each pixel have particular address. So the address of a pixel can be given by x coordinate and y coordinate. The pixel can be turned on or and off. We can turn on the pixel or we can turn off the pixel, each pixel. Then uh, intensity and the color of a pixel can be changed. Depending on the number of pixel, the screen gives resolution. If you consider medium resolution, then the pixels are 320 by 200 pixel. That is 320 pixel are along x axis and 200 pixels are along y axis. Then high resolution gives 640 by 200 pixel. Then very high res resolution it gives the 640 by 350 pixels. Super high resolution gives 1028 by 668 pixels. Then different techniques are used for computer graphics. We know that that, that techniques are uh, CAD, uh, then CAM technique. CAD means a computer added design. CAS means computer added simulation. Then CAM means computer added manufacturing. Structure of a C program. Any C program consists of a hash include graphics.h. Hash include is a preprocessor directive. Graphics.h because we use a graphics program. Okay. So we use uh, this graphics.h. H represent header file. Then hash include conio.h. Conio.h is a use uh, uh, with a uh, Preprocessor directive because we use clear screen and get ch in a program. Then main function. Then uh, opening curly bracket. The body of a program is in uh, opening curly bracket and close curly bracket. Integer gd is equal to detect gm. gd means graphics driver. It is equal to detect. It it indicate that it auto auto reload gm is also integer that is a graphics mode then uh, init graph which is a use to convert the text 
mode into the graphics mode and gd means it represent address and gm represent address then there is a double inverted comma and in double inverted comma there is a c slash tc bgi means borderland graphics interface okay then get ch those graph which is a use to convert the graphics mode into the text mode then return zero and close closing curly bracket this is the structure of a graphics program we have to see all these one by one that is hash include graphics dot h hash include conio dot h main function then what is the graphics driver what is graphics mode what is the use of init graph what is the use of a close graph first hash include graphics dot h hash include is a preprocessor directive okay the first step in any graphics program is include graphics dot h header file the graphics dot h header file provide access to the simple graphics library and it may possible to draw line rectangle over r then uh, polygon then different images and string on a graphical window by using graphics dot h second is a hash include conio dot h because we use here a clear screen and get ch the clear screen is a used to clear the previous output if we not use a clear screen then the output screen show the previous output which make the output window messy so that we use clear screen which is used to clear the previous output then uh, second is a uh, get ch this function is uh, used to hold the output window when we you we does not use this get ch then the output window is hold only for fraction of a second okay so it is a necessary to use it if we want to hold our output screen so clear screen is a used to clear the previous output and get ch is a used to hold the output window then main function without main function uh, our codes will not work the main function is represent like this main function then opening curly bracket then there is a body of a program end with return zero and close with the closing curly bracket next is a init graph generally the init graph is a used to convert the text mode into the graphics mode init graph is a used uh, to initialize the graphics system by loading graphics driver from this and thereby putting the system into the graphics mode init graph the syntax of the init graph is init graph and gd represent address gd means graphics driver and gm means graphics mode then uh, there is a address which is in a double inverted comma c double slash tc means turbo c double slash bgi means borderland graphics interface to start the graphics system we first call uh, init graph function init graph may be use a particular graphics driver and more or uh, it may auto detect and pick 
corresponding driver at runtime according to our need. If we tell the init graph to auto detect, it call detect graph to select graphics driver and mode. And therefore, we use init graph and uh, that is address GD and GM. Uh, it also uh, reset all graphics system to their default value like current position, that is colors, viewpoints and uh, so on and also reset graphic graphics result to the zero and path driver path driver denote the uh, directory path where init graph must look for graphics driver init graph first goes through the direct path to look for the files and if they are not found there it goes to the current directory the graphics driver file must be present in the current directory if the path driver is none then graphics driver graphics driver is the integer and uh, specifies which uh, graphics driver is to be used then uh, if we consider there are some integer that is a numerical value the graphics driver uh, uh, constant if we use detect then uh, the numerical value is zero generally we use a detect numerical value is zero uh, which indicate that it is auto uh, detect okay then cga when we use a cga then a numerical value is one then mcga uh, numerical value is two then ega numerical value is three uh, then ega 64 numerical value is four and so on generally we use detect which have numerical value zero this graphics driver numerical value zero is the same for graphics mode graphics mode graphics mode is also integer that specify the initial graphics mode the table for the value of graphics mode value are assigned in the same way as a graphics driver for a detect we use numerical value zero it is a same uh, for a uh, graphics mode graphics graph driver and graphics mode must be used proper value from the table the expectation here is when graphics driver is equal to detect that is a gd is equal to detect in this case the init graph say graphics mode to the highest uh, resolution available for the uh, detected driver that vgi vgi means borderland graphics interface is a graphics library that is bounded bundled with several several borderland compilers for the DOS operating system uh, since uh, 1987. The library loads graphics driver and vector fonts or from uh, this so to provide device independent graphics support to the program. VGI is uh, accessible in C, C++ with uh, graphics library and graphics.h. Close graph, syntax is a close graph uh, and it is a terminated with the uh, 
semicolon it is a use to convert the graphics mode into the text mode the close graph delocate the memory allocated by the graphics system and then restore the screen to the mode it was in before running in a graph so in this lecture we discuss what is a pixel pixel is a smallest picture cell of a screen it is a addressable point of a screen we can change the intensity we can change the color and depending on number of pixel there is a screen have a different resolution then we also discuss about the graphics.h when we use a graphics program the first step is graphics.h okay it gives us to the access so that we can draw line circle ellipse rectangle so on. then the conio.h when we use the clear screen and get ch in a program we use conio.h then main function without main function the codes the codes are not executed then gd is equal to detect gd means graphics driver it is equal to detect detect it indicate that auto reload okay auto load so or auto detect okay and the numerical value is zero it is the same for graphics mode when we use uh, this value same value for gm that is graphics mode then uh, we select the highest resolution then init graph is a use to convert the text mode into the graphics mode then bgi file means borland graphics interface then close graph is a use to convert the graphics mode into the text mode now uh, you have some assignment explain use of following function in a graphics program graphics.h conio.h main function gd is equal to detect gm what is init graph what is bgi file what is a get ch and what is a close graph send this assignment on google classroom uh, in next lecture we have to see the graphics command to draw line circle ellipse rectangle bar and r graphics command okay to draw line or syntax to log or draw line circle